Ngurise vanwe Zimbabwe Zitarangu na mzi ngoni um, You can find me on most social media as uh, someone like no one um, Please like and uh, subscribe if uh, this is a conversation that resonates with you just want to share some ideas about um, things that I see happening in Zimbabwe um, but specifically more so just ideas um, first thing that I want to talk about is uh, one of the biggest issues we have right now which is a uh, unstable currency um, that doesn't really have purchasing power um, if you remember the, the big conversation around uh, currency uh, was the uh, switching over to the fiat system from the gold standard um, that was done I believe in the 60s and I think that that was done uh, specifically looking at uh, the battle against African countries that were gaining their independence and no longer going to be um, beholden to their um, former colonizers um, in the way that colonization um, had begun. Of course, um, the neo-colonial system still in place, still in places. But um, specifically, uh, that conversation I think uh, can be transformed. I think that Africa and Zimbabwe um, can look at that transaction and say this transaction did not work for us um, has not worked for us now uh, gold averages uh, somewhere between 1200 and 1600 1800 from times um, per ounce and so good morning and so that in itself is an opportunity that I believe would be able to change the fortunes of our buying power if the Western civilization will not remove sanctions and will not um, equalize then I believe that we should nationalize all of our resources but most importantly the nationalization of gold and um, for the sole purpose of uh, using it as the buying power that we seek, um, the anchor that we seek, uh, that would be, in my mind, a uh, the quickest transition from a weak Zimbabwean dollar to a strong Zimbabwean dollar um, that would be able to purchase, to go out and purchase um, at a an equivalent backed by the gold um, that would stabilize and in fact I, I believe would would make it stronger and I think that that would be something that Zimbabwe can do that would show us as leaders across um, the Sadiq region um, we're in a place right now where what do we have to lose um, and if it works then I think um, Africa would follow suit and that would be one of those equalizers um, and a challenge to our government that, you know, uh, with the way that corruption is, is rampant, the nationalization of the resources, I think, is the only answer um, so that all of us can decide how to allocate um, what God gave us all. Um, and so one other thing that I wanted to talk about uh, was the idea around uh, the year of return for people in the diaspora who have never been to um, Africa, um, who were not uh, in this day and age born in Africa, but rather just descendants from uh, people of the continent. Um, Ghana did a really interesting job of uh, marketing and selling the idea of going back to Ghana um, the place where the ships left and visiting the um, the chambers and places where 
uh, your ancestors maybe uh, saw Africa from for the last time and I you know all of that is uh, good and well but um, I think that the, the idea that people only made it into Ghana primarily was a missed opportunity I think a place like Zimbabwe uh, places like Mozambique um, places like uh, Botswana um, places like the Congo places like Nigeria, places like Malawi, um, all have a part to play, um, all had a stake, um, however small in the matter, um, and for the most part have better cases um, for uh, a return, given that most people were taken from the interiors of Africa then simply brought to Western Africa for the shipping process, the ease of shipping process. And uh, so that was one thing I thought, you know, is an opportunity as well. The year of return could be uh, something that we all as Africans um, work harder to initiate um, towards our black brethren um, as this indicator that hey we all um, see the the yearning to connect and we all share the same yearning to connect um, n not only from that standpoint but also from uh, an inflation standpoint one thing that was interesting about it was um, that Ghana made so much because the US dollar only goes so far in Ghana. Um, which is to say that Ghana for the, for the most part is stable in terms of economics. Um, no place is, is without its difficulties, but for the most part Ghana is stable in terms of its economics. What inflation does, though, in this instance, is it allows African Americans and other um, people in the diaspora um, who have the heart to reconnect, it allows your monies to be able to go further. So, for example, you buy a house and land in Ghana, well, you probably could have done um, a lot more land and a lot more building in places uh, with higher inflations um, that like Botswana's and the um, Zimbabwe's and Mozambique's uh, places like that. So that's just a, an opportunity I suppose that we may not be necessarily realizing and could take a little bit more example advantage of good morning so yeah there is that um, the next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, something specific uh, well everything that I that I that I touch on is, is specifically um, ho I'm hoping to be beneficial to Africa as a whole but um, my being Zimbabwean, um, I see these things as uh, very applicable to what we deal with and how we can deal with some of the problems that um, that are debilitating our country. Um, one such issue is uh, entertainment media and uh, specifically the missed opportunity by uh, ZBC and the government. Um, when you look on YouTube, Zimbabweans are everywhere and full of talent, musically, um, comedically, um, dramatically, uh, just everywhere you go. There's sketches and sketches and movies and movies and um, most importantly, and news, most, and, and most importantly, a lot of nuanced views and diverse views and 
I think that our government and ZBC miss a great opportunity because they look at that from fear where if all of that information was being channeled through Zimbabwean broadcasting, um, there is enough nuance and, di and diversity in the views to perhaps even balance out their case and um, grow a lot of other cases, but relieve people, you know, make people laugh, um, make people think differently, uh, widen their scope. But most importantly, what uh, ZBC misses out on is the advertising dollars. Um, Google gets to reap the benefits of all of those Zimbabweans work on that frontier of whereas if that stuff was being um, shown through um, our own broadcasting systems um, those ad dollars would be coming into our government's revenue stream and that's just one missed opportunity that I look at and I think that's really unfortunate um, that the fear would uh, outweigh the the opportunity or the the yeah the obvious opportunity in my mind um, you know um, one other thing that kind of aligns with the same thing there as it starts raining here is uh, the idea around um, the data that we deal with right now in uh, Zimbabwe I think that if look if we're if we're gonna have uh, Chinese counterparts Chinese partnerships Chinese business um, in our country I think that that should come with unlimited data because that's a capability that the Chinese can do for us and that I would think government would want done for us first not only would it create uh, competition um, for the likes of uh, the Econets, the Net Ones, and uh, etc., it would uh, really allow and open up the space for ideas uh, because we are hampered by our data limitations. Um, and but yet we have uh, the country that has some of the, the, the greatest capabilities in that realm in our space. Um, so unlimited data is one of those things that I think is, uh, is long overdue and one of the few things that I would be welcoming the Chinese to uh, take part in uh, as uh, a, a partner to allow us to take a step forward. Um, before all of the other things that, uh, some of the other things that they are uh, being given opportunities in um, that don't give uh, tangible results uh, as soon as, as quick as uh, we as Zimbabweans would like. Um, you know, so it's, it's that whole idea of trying to catch up I suppose while we are simultaneously being chased by climate change, you know, um, there's a lot of uh, excavation and uh, data is one of those things that, that I don't think is a uh, intrusive environmental issue um, or at least minimally intrusive um, to the environment, but would allow for us to be able to uh, process our ideas a lot more broadly uh man it's uh really starting to come down here so i'm probably gonna have to uh go check out something uh well i can at least let me see get under cover let me see if i can get under cover and finish this conversation um with you all Let's see how i can get set up here all right uh, well, let's see.
Okay. Uh, let me check on my positioning of the microphone. Let's see where we are. Let's see how we're looking. See how we're looking here. Mm. Um, so to somewhat try and finish some of my points here, um, the some of the other things that um, I think we should take another look at is. Uh, Resolutions around uh, the droughts that we're suffering and uh, different catchment systems, water catchment systems. I was just thinking about out in the farms how we could um, dig, you know, uh, holes that are big enough, not necessarily deep enough, um, but big enough, and um, create holes that would. draw the water into those holes once they've been concreted and um, sealed so that then the water you know, can be stored and utilized um, for the irrigation. Um, because yeah, that, that's one of those things where it's cutting into something but a basic fundamental water catchment system um, could be the solve the resolution to to uh, such an issue so uh, let me know guys what you think about those uh, few ideas um, and uh, some other things that <laughs> that I, I was thinking about were um, I don't know if you guys have heard of uh, this, uh, this there's a gentleman um, who created a machine um, that creates water um, from there and is uh, powered by the sun um, that's it's uh, his company's out in Texas I can't think of the name at the moment or his name but um, I will make sure to add at least a link um, regarding that um, in, in the description so um, take a look at that and um, those are some of the things that are happening in the world that I just think to myself, wow, how are we not talking to this man, talking to this black man who's created this amazing um, resource that we could uh, you know, make an appeal to, to have help us in areas where water is hard to get. You know, this is a this is a product that could be the answer to so many people. Good clean water. Um, you know, um, you know. So that's I think that's basically all I have for you guys today. Uh, some of the things that I want you guys to know about me um, is that I believe. Um, well, this is something that I want, and uh, something that I believe is 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 you know I want people. A black people specifically to kind of take control of uh, what's going on here because if we're the elders of this earth um, then it is on us to correct um, the the problems of this earth you know um, for all the children for all our children so uh, some things that I want to see when I'm alive, while I'm alive, uh, I would say uh, the unification of Africa. Um, I have a heart for that. It's part of why I'm trying to start this conversation. Um, the unification of Korea. Um, if they are one people, why shouldn't they be unified? Um, and peace in the Middle East, you know, that's uh, one of those things that has not been in my entire life. Um, 
And then, of course, uh, you know, equality and harmony across the earth, uh, I think, is sorely missing and something that uh, we have the job to um, disperse amongst our people. So anyways, um, my name is uh, someone like no one. Um, my name is Margaret. You know me. Um, you can know me as no one. Um, you can find me on all social media at, uh, as someone like no one. Uh, that's uh, some uh, S-O-M-E with the number one. Um, like, no, like, hey, you know, the number one. Someone like no one. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, tell me what you guys think. Uh, I really want to just kind of keep this conversation going, and as uh, different ideas come, um, I want to be able to share them, so hit the notification button, and uh, we can keep this conversation going. Alright, uh, thanks, and uh, peace.